everyone, Brittany here of Sun and Soil Farm and the Homesteading Hiker. And I just pulled out my seed bin because I'm getting ready for the 2021 farming season. And I thought I would just share with you guys because it's getting really ridiculous. And also I'm really proud of some of the seeds I've saved. So let's look at my seed collection. Okay, so here is all of it in its glory. Um, obviously, seed saving is one of my favorite parts about farming. And it's really grown to be a large collection. So I'm going to show you closer some of the things that I'm excited about and some of the seeds I'll be offering this year. All right, let's take a peek. Okay, so over here on the left is just beans. I love growing beans. They fix nitrogen. They're delicious. We eat a lot of beans. Uh, so I have really experimented with a lot of varieties over the years. And I've kind of found the things that work best for me. So cow peas grow prolifically down here in the south. Um, so I have a lot of cow peas from last year. I'm going to really uh, be using these as a cover crop this year. And then with my dry beans varieties, like I've had a hard time isolating. So I've kind of just made the decision to just have dry bush beans in one bag. And then that way I'm not trying to keep track of the varieties. It's just more of like a dry you know if i need a cover crop and then i grew mung beans last year and they were maybe the most prolific bean i've ever grown so i've allotted those this isn't even all of them we've been eating a lot of them but i'm definitely going to grow some more next year this is one of my favorite dry beans it's called whipple and i've been you know expanding my seed collection so i have more to plant next year so i have enough for a couple of beds next year of this uh, Cherokee Trail of Tears. This is one of my favorite pole beans. It's a great bean. And then I have Castor Bean, which is an edible bean. It's a really cool plant and I grew it last year and I'm planning on growing a lot of these as seedlings this year to sell. Um, and then one of my favorite bush beans, Black Turtle. Um, I love this bean. And then I, of course, that doesn't stop me from buying more bean seeds because <laughs> I have a problem. So the seeds I bought this year that I'm excited about are a few, this Oli Gobble, which is a pole, this for canning, and then another pole bean. I have mostly bush beans, so I just wanted to try some more pole beans. And then of course I have like 30 different types of beans in here that I'm either like still experimenting with or um, a lot of fresh beans. I don't like really saving seed from fresh beans because I'm not very good at isolating so things get crossed. Yeah, I have a good mix of dry and fresh in here. Um, and then, you know, these two bags here, this bag and this bag or just bean seeds that I've saved over the past couple of years. That kind of just one of my like emergency plans <laughs> is having so many bean seeds that we could probably live off beans. All right, then here in the middle, I have tomato seeds, and these are just tomato seeds I've saved over the years. And then as far as tomato seeds I bought for this season, I have some new varieties I'm really excited to try. We did Cherokee Purples last year and those were delicious. And then we have lots of cherry tomatoes. I want to do more cherries. And we figured out how we're going to trellis our tomatoes this year. Finally, I have a plan and we're going to follow the plan. So I bought a lot of tomato seeds and I'm excited to grow a lot of new types this year. Um, roots. So this is mostly seeds I've saved over the years. But as far as roots that I'm excited to grow this year, we had pretty good luck with uh, carrots last year. So I've bought quite a few varieties for us to trial um, and see which ones do the best. We had really good luck last year with Danvers. And then I got some beet seeds here. Beets is something I have a hard time saving seed from. So I usually just buy beet seeds each year. Um, I see these here. So here are some new peas that we're going to be trying. Shelling peas, garden peas, and then a snap pea. I'm going to be planting these soon. Uh, greens. So this is like my bag of 
seeds that I have bought recently. So of course, spinach, spinach. I've been really trying to get better at spinach lately. Kitazawa Seed Company. We have a lot of different um, bok choys. Oh, this is kale. Ooh, this is exciting. A walking stick kale. We're excited to try that. This one this year. Oh, this is a new uh, crop for us. It's a summer green. So we're going to give that a shot. Oh, there's more. We've been growing a lot of these Kitazawa seeds over the winter. This Hiroshima I'm here is Shimana. We love it. It's so delicious. This red Troy did really well. It's kept up to the winter uh, here in 7B unprotected. This one we don't like as much, um, but it is yummy greens. This is another new one we're going to try this year. Uh, of course, chard. This we tried last year. We didn't like it. Ooh, this is a new one for us to try. This is the cabbage we have growing right now. Red kale is okay. I don't super love that variety. I like my red Russian much better. This is another new one for us. Chinese stem lettuce. We're going to try that over the summer and see how it produces. I don't know. This is just lettuce seed. I always have so much lettuce seed. So that's the newer greens. And then if we look here, this is all the greens. Greens that I've saved from the past couple years. So it's mostly lettuce, but then I have cress. This is my favorite loaves lettuce. Um, here's some tatsoi seed I saved. This is one of my very, well, this looks like it's a cross between sweet valentine and speckled bib. I have a lot of varieties crossing in my garden, so it's kind of a gamble when it's gonna come out. But this Bambi is a really good mini romaine that I love. Um, this is my number one right here. A red Russian kale. It oh my gosh, this, there's so many seeds in here. They're falling at the bottom. Okay, I need to put that in something stronger. And then I have like mustard, of course arugula. I'm on like generation maybe six in the garden. Now what's happened with uh, my arugula variety is it's like bushing out, so it's like an arugula bush, which is cool because you get so many more leaves off of it. So that right now is out in the garden going to seed, and I'm excited to save those seeds. And I think that's what's so cool about um, seed saving. Here's another red Russian. I have a lot of red Russian seeds right now. Ruby streaks mustard, more arugula, so many different lettuce seeds. Because I love lettuce, and I love saving lettuce seed. It's one of my favorite seeds to save. I mean, all of my seeds are favorite, my favorites, but you guys know. And then this bag here is more seeds I saved last season or the past few seasons, but I haven't organized them yet. So I have lots of herbs, like I have perilla. I actually got chard to go to seed. Um, prize hub lettuce, that one is awesome. And then we're getting into like my basil breeding project that I have going on right now. So I've been letting my basils cross and seeing what comes out. So this is some sort of cross. So I really just have to grow a lot of these seeds and see what happens. Uh, garlic chives. What is this? Oh, a cross of beans, pencil and contender, which is interesting. My favorite, favorite, favorite lettuce. But this might be a cross because I grew it right next to low lettuce, so we'll see what comes out of that. Um, yeah, I have lots some burdock seed, red chiso, green perilla, green zebra tomato. I love this tomato. I need to move this over to things I need to plant soon. I still need to sort through holy basil, hibiscus. There's a lot of seeds everywhere. Um, for veggies, we're excited. We're going to grow corn this year for the first time, so I bought this. Uh, golden bantam. I don't really have anything else too interesting in here. Just peppers, but I suck at growing. Oh, some cucumbers, cucumelon seeds. I'm excited about those. I'm gonna try these again this year. I'm not very good at growing cucumbers. What else can I show you? Flowers. I'm really excited. Uh, 
for the flowers this year, I bought a lot of flower seeds. I have these and these. These are going to be awesome. Ooh, Chinese wool flower just seemed really cool. I couldn't resist the seeds. This is another one, a vining flower. I'm going to try quite a few vining flowers this year. Let me get into the things I bought to purchase. So, uh, to grow, to sell like seedlings and just also for my own flowers. Um, carnations. So many zinnias. I did mostly white zinnias this year because I just really want white flower bouquets. I have some white sunflowers, um, white lysanthus, orange calendula. Ooh, these cosmos are so cute. I'm excited about that. Deep red zinnias. My bouquets are going to be really cool this year. Peppermint sticks. Yeah, I went a little zinnia crazy. I was having a bad day and I started looking at zinnia seeds online and I just went overboard. So, you know, that's how it goes. Those are the flower seeds I'm most excited about. And then herb seeds that I'm really excited about. Oh, here's the um, peach melon seeds. Then I have holy basil. I'm getting ready to start seeds for a plant sale I'm going to do the third week of April. So you know I have lots of basil. I love basil. So much basil. Basil. I'm in grass. I did good with last year, so I'm going to be starting those practice seeds. Parsley, I'm still trying to figure out. Sage. I also have other sage in the fridge. Um, stratifying right now. Mullein and chamomile. This from last year grew really, really well. It was great for the hummingbirds and the butterflies. So I'm excited to grow it again this year. It's hard for me to not be excited about literally everything that I'm growing because I just love farming. Uh, for fruits, I have, oh no, this isn't fruit. This is squash. I have butternut seed that I saved from last year. Lufus squash, I need to try those again. And then I have our number one favorite fresh squash, Desi. I had to order this from a small seed company because Baker Creek stopped carrying the seed and I tried saving seed from it last year, but they all rotted. Um, then we have these that we grew last year. Black Beauty squash, yellow crookneck. And then I have some um, winter squash that died last year, so I'll try it again this year and see if I can't get some to go, some delicata that I need to try again, because they also died, because I didn't take care of them. You know, plants like to be taken care of. Okay, and then I think this is my last bag. I don't honestly know how interesting this is to anybody but me, but <laughs> I just thought it would be fun to kind of like record my insane seed collection for, I guess, myself and for anybody who's a seed nerd like I am. Old catnip, singing nettles, I bought these seeds. I still haven't grown them yet. Uh, time, time. Yarrow, I haven't tried these seeds yet. That's exciting. More time. This somebody gave me, never grown it. Crest is cool, it's just so freaking spicy and bitter. Valerian, I haven't tried these yet. I love our uh, Roselle. I've actually saved two generations of seed from this original packet. Thai basil, parsley, sorrel. I've saved this seed and I have a lot of it available. It's a perennial green here in zone 7B. So I love having it for uh, summer and winter greens. Fennel, chicory, sweet Thai basil. I have not successfully grown this yet. I want to try again this year. This I've also saved seed from. It's like a weed in my garden now. And I don't like eating it, so it is what it is. And then I have a lot of basil crosses in here. A lot of cilantro seed. It grows so well in my garden. She's so... Another perhaps high basil. And this bag is mostly just full of basil, basil crosses, basil seeds. I don't know what they are, so I'm going to have to grow them and see what I get. 
a nice hyssop. There's a weed in my garden. Corolla. And the list goes on and on and on. But that's for the most part. I mean, that is my entire seed collection. Um, <laughs> but I didn't dive into each bag because I think this video would be two hours long if I talked about every single seed I have. Okay, if you guys stuck through that entire video, you must be a big seed nerd like I am. So I wanna hear all about the varieties that you're really excited to grow this year. And now that I have all of my seeds disorganized and crazy all over the place, it's time to reorganize and then get out to the greenhouse and get planting. See you guys in the next one. Tony Kitty approves of my seed collection. Are you trying to grow too, Tony? Huh? Hmm.